Ever wondered why that sweet tooth of yours is so hard to control? Well, let's delve into the world of sugar addiction. You see, when we consume sugar, it stimulates the reward center in our brains, releasing a surge of feel-good chemicals like dopamine. In a way, it's like our brains are constantly throwing a little dopamine party every time we give in to that sweet craving. But here's the catch. This rush of pleasure we experience is so powerful that it can be as addictive as certain drugs. Yes, you heard that right. The seemingly innocent sugar rush can take on a darker shade when it morphs into an addiction, leaving us craving for more. And here's another thing. This addiction isn't just about a lack of willpower. It's the biological pull of sugar at work, subtly yet persistently urging us to reach out for that extra piece of candy or that second slice of cake. So, you see, it's not just about wanting a sweet treat. It's about your brain demanding it. If you are concerned about your health and you feel that you are learning from our channel, please subscribe and join our family and hit the notification button so you won't miss any video. And if you would like to know what you will learn by doing so, please continue watching. And the answer is in the end of this video. But what happens when we give in to these sugar cravings too often? Well, the answer isn't as sweet as the culprit. Consuming excessive amounts of sugar can lead to a whole host of health issues. For starters, it's a key player in the development of diabetes, a condition where the body's ability to control blood sugar levels is compromised. But the story doesn't end there. Excessive sugar intake is also linked to obesity. It's a silent creeper packing on the pounds before you even realize what's happening. And with obesity comes a higher risk of high blood pressure, effectively setting the stage for heart disease. The domino effect continues. High blood pressure and heart disease can lead to even more serious health problems like strokes and other life-threatening conditions. So while that sweet treat might give you a momentary high, the long-term effects can be pretty low. Sugar, despite its sweet taste, can lead to some pretty bitter health issues. So what can we do to break free from this sugar addiction? It starts by becoming more mindful of what we consume. Reading food labels is a simple step that can reveal a lot about what we're putting into our bodies. You'd be surprised how often sugar sneaks into our diets through processed foods and drinks. Next, let's choose the natural healthy foods more often. Fruits, vegetables, lean meats, legumes, and nuts. They are naturally contain less sugar and offer a host of other health benefits. Also, let's rethink our drink. Sugary drinks are often a major source of hidden sugar. Opt for water, herbal tea, or other unsweetened beverages instead. Remember, taking control of your sugar addiction is taking control of your health. It's a sweet victory worth fighting for. I hope you benefited, liked, and enjoyed this video. And if you would like to know what you will learn from our channel and more about me, here you go. Hello, Diabetes Challengers. Welcome to our channel. My name is Dr. Ali Qasim, and I have discovered that I have diabetes in 2007. Our channel is about giving you a new perspective on your health that will empower you and allow you to make healthy changes for a healthier you. Once you understand how much power you have over your health and your body, you will become excited about how much you can do. And then when you make the decision to become a master of your health, you will change to new healthier habits. Because as long as we keep the old habits that cause all our health issues, we will not get any better. Once you make that decision, you will have control over your body rather than your body controls you. I started taking my medication in 2011 until 2017. At that time, I used to take uh, four types of medication, metformin, Jardians, Diamicron, and Tragenta Dole. And at that time, my HbA1c was 10.7. And because of the harm this medication made to my body, I decided to stop taking these medications completely. At once in one night, I decided not to take any kind of medication and adjust my diet. In two weeks time, I managed to control my blood sugar 
from 9.8 to 5.4 or 5.5 since then until today without any medication. And I will share all the information and all the experience with you. I have studied diabetes, high blood pressure, obesity, and my main references uh, are Mayo Clinic, Harvard University, USDA, the Authority of Agriculture uh, in UK and in Australia. In this channel, you will learn scientific information about diabetes, high blood pressure, obesity, about food, uh, like fruit, like vegetables, meat, fish, spices, vitamins, minerals, and almost every edible thing. My body weight used to be 110 kilograms, and within three months, I dropped 27 kilograms. Uh, and since then, until now, as you can see, my weight is 83, which is the ideal weight. You will understand how amazing your body is, and you will learn to master your health, stay healthy naturally, and have a quality life. Not only you will add years to your life, but also you will add life to your years. If your health is important to you, I suggest you join the Challengers family, those who challenge diabetes, and do not forget to hit the bell button so you will not miss any new video because maybe a solution or an answer to your question uh, is in that video. I would like to thank all our family members, those who joined the channel, and those who are going uh, to join with my heartfelt gratitude. I hope to see all of you over the top with a healthy, wealthy, and prosperous life. Thank you for watching with my heartfelt gratitude.